Hi y'all, welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics, this is Chuck, excuse the wind noise out here. Today we have episode 3 of 10mm versus 45 Super. Today we're going to be shooting hard cast. So in the 10mm we have the KKM Precision Barrel, a little bit more chamber support. We did leave the factory spring alone, so still the factory spring and guide rod in there. Out of the 10mm we are shooting the 200 grain hard cast high tech coated at 1250 feet per second from underwood so that is what we are shooting you can see the bullets there now out of the 45 super these are hand loads 200 grain semi wide cutter hard cast my buddy uh loaded them for me i've shot them plenty of times they've been on the channel before they're at 10.1 grains of power pistol i believe 200 grain out of the 45 super 45 super has the 6.61 inch lone wolf barrel so that's as close as barrels as we could get because the lone wolf barrel didn't work very well in the 10 millimeter when i got it and started testing it it stunk so i to ship it back got the kkm precision that is working just fine so 6.61 inch 45 super versus 6.5 inch 10 millimeter i know the barrel links aren't the same but it's as close as we're ever going to get on this channel chronograph test then we're going to do a penetration test stay tuned okay here we go 10 millimeter kkm barrel 6.5 inch got five rounds of the underwood 200 grain hard cast high tech coated stuff um Seems to be doing good. I've already filmed the penetration test, so I know what that, that's going to do. Make sure you stay to the end to see that. Let's see what is going to be better. 10 millimeter or 45 super. Twelve fifteen. Eleven eighty four. Twelve forty two. 1242 again, I think. Maybe or it's an error. And I got another error. Let me put two more rounds in there. Here we go. I got put I put three more rounds in there. Let's see how it does. The 200 grain. See if I can get some more data here. Twelve oh four. 1202 and another error okay so we i think we got four or five good readings there well, actually it's not even close to what the box says i'm not really impressed i was thinking it would get more in the closer to 1300 with the kkm longer barrel so i'm, I'm a little disappointed in that now you've seen the 200 grain hard cast before from the 45 super this has been in a chooks video that we did 45 super versus 10 millimeter and I've also done a separate, really old, bad video at a public uh, range uh, with this chronographing. So here we go. 45 Super, 200 grain. 1372. 1374. 1433. 1376 and 1354 so not really consistent but uh, I believe the 1433 have had some issues with the chronograph today but I believe that one so a lot faster a lot more powerful the foot pounds of energy the 10 millimeter loses the 45 super wins not much more recoil and those those 200 grains don't recoil too badly a little bit more, but not much. Check out the penetration and the add-up slide. Sorry for the wind noise out here. And we will uh, show you what the penetration does. Check out the add-up slide. Instagram, Patreon, all that jazz. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. All that jazz. Add-up slide and the penetration test. This is take two. 45 versus super. 45 super versus 10 millimeter. Take two. We're over the chronograph. And take one, the 10 millimeter didn't do too well. My one of my cameras went out. You guys just saw that. So I'm gonna go with take two here. Here we go. 10 millimeter, 200 grain hard cast. See if we can get some more reads. 1174. 
eleven seventy nine, eleven ninety nine. A 1648, why does it, I, uh, that's got to be the chronograph. There's no way that round was 1648. It felt a little strong, but not that strong. And a 1648, that, no read on that one. So again, issues with the chronograph today. Let's see here, 45 Super, I have five rounds left. Here we go. Thirteen fifteen. 1385, it is significantly more recoil. 1376, and I've got a failure to go all the way in battery. 1340, things all the way in battery again, that's good. And 1364. So not quite as high as we got with the other batch. I do have a couple of batches of these, and so I might have been mixing batches. So that one was up in the high 1350s. I'm going to add up all of the numbers from both sets of chronographs. I'm going to throw out the 1600 nuns and the ones that were way too fast, and just give you the ones that were actual reads. Check out the add-up slide with all that information in it. Then check out the penetration test. It's going to be a fun one. Okay, here we go for the add-up slide. I'm really disappointed in the Glock 40 10 millimeter. I thought Underwood would do a lot better. They've told me before they got a lot better in Lone Wolf and KKM barrels for some reason instead of the Glock factory barrel. So that's why we went with this for the test in addition to the traditional rifling. You can see the foot-pounds of energy difference. I won't insult you by reading it. You can hear my music in the background. If you don't know my music channel, go check out Bossed Custom Music Writing. And this week's shout out goes to Chris338. Chris338. Go check out his channel. Nice little channel. God bless. Don't forget our 5,000 sub giveaways going on right now. Okay, first we're going to do 10 millimeter. I've got an empty propane bottle and then 10 jugs of water behind it. We do an empty propane bottle or a plate or something like that simply because we, we want to get something hard to stop the bullet or to slow a lot of the energy down, just like a bear skull. I know that propane bottle's not anywhere near like a, a bear skull, but just to have something hard for it to go through first. Okay, looks like I hit it right in the middle. Let's see the results. Okay, looks like I hit it right in the middle. Let's see the result. Man, it still smells like propane. So I believe this is the entry hole, and it came out this side here. And we are in, after the propane bottle. We have two jugs on the ground that are empty. Three, four, five, and six with that hard cast coated bullet. Somebody on one of the Facebook forums told me that the hard the coating actually makes the bullet softer. I don't know about that. Let's see. All right, actually the bullet did, parts of it might have come out of this one. Well, yep, I don't see the bullet. Up, oh, it's in between the table here. There it is. It actually came out the side and stopped in between the jugs, bounced around the jugs. There we go, you can still see a little bit of the red on it. Not much, but hey, that's good. I, I'm glad I'm carrying those for bear protection now. Look at that. Okay, here we go, 45 Super, 200 grain hard cast semi wad cutter from the 45 Super. These rounds are so ballistically close that we'll see how it does here. All 
right. Looks like we went through a lot more water jugs. Got a clean hit on the propane tank bottle. Let's see what we get. All right. Looks like we went through a lot more. Here we go, there's our entry wound, of course a bigger hole in the entry, not necessarily a bigger hole in the expansion than the 10 millimeter, so that's actually pretty nice. We had one jug off the table, two, three, four, five, and it looks like we have five, and the bullet did come out the bottom, it looks like it bounced. Came out the bottom and bounced. So the bullet was diving. I don't see it anywhere. It looks like it hit this one and bounced away. Yep, right there. Surprised it's not on the table. Hmm, I thought it would go through farther. So let's see if we can find that bullet on the ground. So here it is, it bounced right off the ground. And there it is. Um, so it only went through five. 10 millimeter wins the penetration test over 45 super. So either one's a, a viable bear defense round, but 10 millimeter definitely wins this test. Okay, so the 10 millimeter deformed less and actually went through one more water jug. And that's kind of to be expected if two ballistically similar rounds because the 45 has a bigger surface area, so it slows down like a bigger parachute. But either one's a good bear round. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Of course, 10 millimeter is a lot easier to get a hold of ammo. These were, had to be hand loaded, and there's only a few places that carry it in town in Anchorage, or one place that carries it in town in Anchorage, and then a place in Wasilla that can order the 45 Super for you, and that's about it. So, again, thanks for coming out and watching today. Patreon link is below. Support that if you like what we do. Instagram and Facebook links are below. You can message me on there if you have any questions or anything you want me to shoot, if I can get a hold of it. Thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.